What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with another tech review. This time we're gonna be looking at the Jellycomb Type-C wireless mouse. Let's check it out. So this is the mouse right here itself, and in the box, all you get is this mouse, and you get a micro USB charging adapter. A little bit of real estate on this is you got a scrolling wheel right here, you get your DPI control here, you get your charging port up right up front, on off switch, optical sensor right here, and this is the actual USB type C dongle right here. So this is my iPad Pro 11. This is just a basic plug and play device. So you turn it on, your light comes on, you're gonna plug in, and then you're gonna get mouse control just like that. This thing is very smooth, very fluid. It's working really well on this table. This is a metal table. Um, nothing is hindering it. You, I mean, this is probably one of the smoothest scrolling mouse devices that I have ran across. It really works well. So like I said, scrolling, I'm just moving my finger. It's not loud. And there we go. Works really nice. Um, you can actually hold down and scroll and you get a continuous scroll up and down the screen. Hold down, flick. Like I said, this is probably one of the smoothest scrolling mouse devices that I've seen in a while. And if you click down on the scroll wheel, it automatically takes you back home. It has 800, 1200 and 1600 DPI levels so that you can actually control this if you wanna use it for gaming. Uh, and a lithium ion battery, and the company doesn't say how long that battery lasts, but I'm assuming uh, it's a 250 milliamp hour battery. So you're probably gonna get a lot of hours out of one charge. I don't see you going dead after a few hours. I mean, you're gonna have a, a good decent amount of battery on here. And with it being hooked up through a micro USB port, you're gonna be able to plug this in and use it at the same time. So this mouse is a really good buy. I recommend this one. You're gonna pay about 16 bucks for it. I picked it up on Amazon. I'm gonna drop that link below so you can check it out. But remember, it works through the USB type C port. You just plug it in and it works. Uh, first, you have to also make sure that you have followed all the steps to connecting. So I probably should have done this part first because you actually can't just plug it in and it work. You have to go to accessibility and from accessibility, you have to go to touch, assisted touch, and you have to make sure that your assisted touch is on. If your assisted touch is not on, the mouse disappears. You got to turn that on, pops back up and you're good to go. So I may should have done this part first for those who are new, but for most people, they already know that you have to go in and follow these steps. So I'm going to run through them one more time. Let's go all the way back out. You're going to click on settings. Once you clicked on settings, you're going to find accessibility. Accessibility is found right over here on the left hand side of your screen. You click on accessibility and you're going to look for touch. Now you can scroll up and down, but touch is always right here on the physical and motor. Once you click on touch, at the very top is going to be assistive touch. Yours will be off. Turn it on. Once you turn it on, you will get mouse control. Hopefully that helps you. Um, some people have been saying that they can't get this to work, but I've had no issues with connecting any of my mouse devices, hard drives, or anything of that nature, or my gaming controllers. So just remember those steps and you'll be fine. So this is the Jellycomb Type-C wireless mouse. It has a unifying receiver that is Type-C. It's just plug and play directly into the iPad itself. 15 bucks, 16 bucks, 15.99. Uh, I'm gonna drop that link below so you can check it out. Until next time, hope this is able to help someone out. Be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.